So this is um, a leather curing site. It's apparently the oldest leather curing site in the world. It dates back to the ninth century. It's also protected by UNESCO. Now we've come up here, we're gonna see some of the processes. We were actually given a, a stick of mint because the smell is quite strong. Um, so basically you have several, several processes. First, the, the, the skin is, um, is brought in and it goes through the whole sort of uh, process where they remove all the, well, any uh, excess hair, excrement, things like that to make it clean. And then basically it goes through the whole um, curing process, which can take uh, 25 days for um, uh, goats and sheep, but it can take anywhere from three to five months uh, for much tougher uh, leather, which is uh, like from cows or dromedaries. And then you go through a process where they basically so they soften the, the leather with um, with bird uh, excrement, basically from uh, from from pigeons, because it has uh, ammoniac, which helps um, soften the uh, the leather. And then obviously there's the whole process of of painting it and um, and making the finished product. So quite a long process. And you think the, from the start to finish, it could take anywhere up to five months to have the leather ready to actually be made into something like a jacket. If you look down there, you can see some of the leather being dried. And you have the, 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 the wool that has been removed as well. And this amazing site, just all these people like little tiny miniatures. And then you have the whole site of the, of the, of the Medina surrounding it. So we, obviously we can look down, you have a, me, a mosque, you can see there in the distance, there's 200 mosques in uh, the Medina. We're using solar power there for, for energy. Obviously, this, a lot of this has been preserved because of the UNESCO. You can see down all their, the different um, baths or tanks where they, they cure the leather.